Hello Paul, I'm Rod Coy, I'm the chairman of uh, the, the Relay for Life here at Sutherland. This is our 13th year, uh, we started off uh, very small, it was about, I think we had 50 teams in the first year and raised $74,000 and this year we've got something like 230 teams and we're raising $600,000. So the, uh, the, the issue of uh, size is, it's got about five or six times bigger than it was. Uh, but it's still got the same feel. This is a wonderful community. I often think uh, we're the, well, I think we're the biggest in Australia now. Perth is pretty big, but I think we are up there with them. And uh, and I think it's the community. I think this local community is fantastic. And uh, oh, it's Barry Collier just went past. G'day, Barry. G'day, mate. I'm just being interviewed here, Barry, but I'm just telling everybody what a great relay this what is. A fabulous relay it is. I understand there's something like 400,000 already up stumped up ready to go yeah, yeah it's over 400 we're going to get six we think um but you know what else mate was good uh, it, it's been raining for about three hours but there's been hardly anybody leaving the place in fact i think the numbers would be as big as last year and i think, so too. I think it's, it's fabulous you know the the start off the survivors and carers walked it's absolutely fabulous so great start to the day and this will this will hold off for us we'll be here come down if you can it's great. it's great. We always say, and uh, it's emotional, it's a 24 hour experience this mate. You, you go through all the laughs and all the crying. And you, but one thing that is, we, we always turn up and it's always on because we say that the cancer, people with cancer don't get a break, so we don't get a break. That's right. So rain or hail or shine, we're here and we're going to do it. Well, it is emotional, it is moving me. I, I lost both parents to cancer. And you know, it's really at early age in their 60s. So you know, it affects everybody, all walks of life. And it's really important we remember them, but we also move on. And and the, you know, things that my my mum passed away uh, from leukemia in age 64. But the, the changes, the improvements, they believe that people are living longer. There's the chance of survival is is great. And we we are gradually making good ground on this this cancer, this scourge that is cancer. You know, so. This is all part of it, and I just congratulate the community. I congratulate you, Rod, the organisers. Fabulous turnout for the Shire. Really, we, we, this is an event for which our Shire can be really, really proud, you know? Oh, I agree with you entirely, mate. It's an interesting thing. It, it tends to be disarming. Uh, we, we all conduct our business and our, and our lives during the year, and, and, we, and we always have to you know, negotiate for things. And do, but when it comes to Relay Day, Everybody just seems to come down here, and everybody's a, a, a member of the community. That's it's right. it's disarming. That's right. It's it's not who you are, but it's basically you're here for the community. You're here for the future. Our kids, our grandkids, and that's what it's all about. This is community. This all this stuff is above politics. You know, as we saw this morning, we all took a photograph of the, <laughs> both both sides of politics there at the start for the the the, the walk. And uh, you know, it's really it's a really great event. Above politics, this is a, this is community stuff. And, and Full marks to the Sutherland Shire community.